Treatment of Lyme disease. The infection may start to spread as soon as the mark appears, so you have to act quickly. Treatment should therefore begin as soon as you see the bite or the bullseye mark. Many experience that the best antibiotic is amoxicillin. You take one gram twice a day. This type of penicillin is called penicillin G. Penicillin G gets around your system. It also gets into your spinal fluid and then through the wall surrounding your brain and into your brain. Penicillin G can also be injected. You may however be allergic to penicillin. Doxycycline is then an alternative. It is usually prescribed in doses of 100 milligrams per day, twice a day, for Lyme disease, which is too little to enter the brain. You may therefore be prescribed 400 or even 600 milligrams per day, and this will enter the brain. However, doxycycline makes a lot of people feel sick and many find it hard to take for weeks at a time, especially at high doses. Doxycycline stains growing teeth and therefore should not be given to children under 8 for this reason. If a child is also allergic to penicillin, then ceftriaxone can be given as I describe further on. Doxycycline also leads to painful burning of the skin if you are in the sun, so keep out of sunshine if you take it. Antibiotics work by attacking the bacteria when they reproduce. This leads to a breakdown of the bacteria into fragments which must be carried out of the body. Your body reacts to these fragments and you feel ill. You will therefore probably feel worse soon after you start taking antibiotics. The bacteria and the broken fragments will leave you over a few weeks. After that you will begin to feel well again. You need to keep a diary of your symptoms so that you know when you are still ill and when you begin to get better. Many experience that an excellent treatment is set triaxone. This is sold under the trade name of rosaphine. One gram of rosaphine costs about eight euros. You take this as an injection into your backside or the front of your upper leg. This is done twice a day. You could do the injection yourself, which shaves you some money. There are videos on YouTube which show how your partner or you yourself can do, do an injection into the backside or leg. How long should you go on with injections or taking tablets? Firstly, all your symptoms must be gone, which might take about four weeks. Then you continue for two or three weeks more, so that you may be fairly sure that all the bacteria are out of your body. All in all, 
you would have to take antibiotics for about eight weeks at least. Unfortunately, there is no guarantee that you will be free of all bacteria, so you must watch out for symptoms that return. This means that you are still infected.